Hey, what's going on TikTok? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. I'm here to bring you a love message. So let's see what's good with you guys in the love department. Don't forget, take what you need, leave what you don't. Flip these rolls as you see fit. Go over to my YouTube for extended readings. I drop all kinds of readings over there. Collective, Zodiac signs, Twin Flames, Divine Masculine readings. Whatever you like, whatever you like. <laughs> Thank you, my spirit team. What is the message for my collective? What message do you have for my collective? Thank you for protecting us, for keeping us safe. Paradise. Okay, so... This is about your happiness. It's about joy and expansion. Oneness is what I'm also seeing. Some of you may be trying to take a vacay to a nice little island on top of that. I'm hearing Cabo, Jamaica. Show me what I need to see. Ooh. Love call. Boom. So somebody is going to express their love to you. It could be a message of love. Um, text message, you know, they could be like, I'm thinking of you. I just wanted to let you know, I love you, you know, something like that. But let's see here. And I, I feel like this just is going to bring you like sheer happiness, y'all. Like, you know how you be like so giddy and so excited about this. So tell me more about this paradise card. I got a whole bunch of tarot decks put together here. Yeah, so it's going to... It's going to make you happy because this is going to come um, after not speaking to them for a minute. Okay. Or you may have had some type of misunderstanding with this person with the eight of wands reverse. It could be a misunderstanding, some type of delays or something here. Um, and they're going to call you. So, so make sure you just stay in a lighthearted energy is what I heard. Okay. Because you probably going to be like, I ain't heard from you all day. Or I ain't heard from you in months or weeks. However, right, nine of pentacles and a reverse position. Yep, you may be pretty guarded, but however, hold your ground here is what I'm seeing. It's all, look, it's all good. It's all good, okay? Why is it all good? I don't know why. Because I, I hear like y'all going to be able to enjoy each other. This person, um, is, is they, they may be feeling some kind of way because they have some type of challenges is what I'm hearing with the chariot card coming out. Or you may be, okay? You could be experiencing something here with your money. Um, and you may just not feel like, you know, self-sufficient or something. It's like, you know how you're trying to build something and you're trying and you're trying and it's such a challenge. But, um, and it could be definitely like causing the stagnations between you two because of that but however this is it's literally like one of these things where you will overcome it with determination so but the most part here this was supposed to be for my tiktok but i just realized i'm at three minutes and 12 seconds so i might as well just keep on going yeah so for the most part here you know you're gonna be able to take some type of break it's like a much needed break here seven of pentacles uh, right i feel like this will also refresh you okay if you take a break um that's where i heard you know take and take a trip go somewhere right go wear some water and some sun okay um shoot you like i can't afford it you look check this out you can do uplift okay all the airlines use uplift they got Southwest Travels. You can put the whole guy thing on trip on Uplift. $63 a month, okay? But however, yeah, you ready for, it's like you putting in that work. You putting in a lot of energy and you ready for the hardships to end here. And it may feel like you're not getting any results, but it's happening. It's what I'm hearing, okay? But I feel like this is why um, your person here may be just kind of like in this energy here with this knight of swords reverse just really just like scattered in that thinking right now because of what may be happening um with their money or whatever they're trying to do but however i feel like they may even be taking some type of vacation they, or they need to they need to go get away real quick so that they, they, they can get back centered um so tell me about this love call here don't worry again. Nine of Swords reverse. Get out that wounded warrior energy. Don't feel anxious. Don't lose no sleep. Don't do any of that. Okay. Six of Wands because this person sees you. You're gonna have success. You're gonna have that victory you're looking for. You, you know whatever the goals you are setting here for this relationship or connection with this person is going to happen regardless. You win that Six of Wands energy. You hear that ding ding ding. It's happening. Okay. 
Look at that. Three of Cups. Oh, right. You're going to be able to celebrate, honey. Y'all going to be able to come together here and celebrate whatever it could be. It could be just a more sociable period. It could be celebration as far as this person. Like, hey, let's get married. You know what I'm saying? I know that's a jump, but some people do it, right? Some people actually do it, okay? But at this point, I feel like, yeah, y'all going to be able to come together with each other again, okay? At some point after this person get their mind right. Right now, they trying to battle some stuff, okay? Right now, they trying to stay resilient here. Two of Wands in the reverse position. I'm sorry, Two of Pentacles reverse. I dropped it on the floor. Um, it was reversed. So they making some. They gotta make certain decisions here. They trying to prioritize is what I'm hearing. They trying to see how they can eliminate some of these uh, things that they're they're juggling, right? To make things better. That's the part where they're uncertain. They don't. They're not sure. It's like they're very uncertain about this. Um, here, but it's like once they get clear about that, then they can be able to move forward here with the Four of Wands again to build something here with you, okay? To establish something with you, um, whatever that may be, right? If it's just friendship, y'all could be like trying to move in together, whatever, right? Get married, however, right? But something, something stable is what I'm hearing, especially when it comes to the long term. That's the part there, and I feel like it's upsetting them because. They really want to get to that part, whether it's, like I said, whether it's commitment, marriage, relationships, they really want to get to that part, but they feel like they have to be able to um, overcome some of these burdens or things that they're um, they're juggling right now. Okay, so tell me about this moon card. Right? Yep, six of cups in the reverse. It's triggering the hell out of them. It's making it hard for them to move forward because... It's just like they, they're trying to come up out of whatever rut that they're in. Tell me what I need to see. Why is it so important to this person to to be? Oh, because they feel like they the man. <laughs> oh, I don't know why that came to me. King of Swords energy. Because they feel like they, you know what I'm saying, the man. It's like they want to be able to work together collectively where y'all can do this thing together. Okay, y'all can share y'all goals together, all right? This is like, they want to be successful on top of that. They want to be able to um, accomplish their goals, not even begin to work on their goals, but accomplish their goals. They want to be able to work with you is what I'm hearing. Wow. Your person is going through a major transformation. It's it, and What I'm hearing, it just feels like, you know, this is all a part of them feeling like a man <laughs> so apparently y'all flip these roles how you see fit but that's how i'm hearing it wow <sighs> mm, i know right it's a lot to take in <laughs> i can hear somebody like <sighs> Like, really, I wish they hurry up and get over it. And, you know, a lot of times, us as, you know, women, we, we we have our issues when it comes to, you know, certain things with money. But we work better with someone. Like, we like we can do it together. We can share the expenses. Let's just, you know, work this out. Split it down the middle. Do whatever, right? Men like, no, I'm supposed to be the provider. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the person that's going to take care of us, right? So, show me what I need to see here in regards to this. Yeah, keep your joy. You guys will be able to expand is what I'm hearing. You're going to be able to enjoy each other. All of that. <clears throat> um, surround yourself with protective energy at this time because definitely it could be some energies that are at play right now. That's all I'm hearing. Okay. So, and also Father Sky, trust in the unknown. So, you know, you could be, you know how when you don't know and you just can't see what's going to happen, sometimes it can make you anxious. It's like you got this feeling like, I'm going to be okay, but at the same time, because everything always works out, right? Regardless, everything works out. We put ourselves through so much emotional turmoil to end up having things work in our favor. And and that's how I feel. It's like, I feel like you're like, oh, where is this going to come from? How is this going to happen? If this ain't true, is the person connected to you? You know, like, I can't pay this. I'm tired of doing this. It's like I'm chasing my tail in the wind. And bam, what happens? You went through all of that shit. And then whatever you need came to you, right? So... And even here, I want to read the, the arrow card first. 
Surround yourself with positive people and experiences and environments that make you feel safe and call on your angels and guides and ancestors to bring you protection. Okay, so everything isn't as clear as it seemed, but just trust your intuition, trust in the unknown, right? For the sky and the universe, however it resonates for you. All right, and what did I tell you? It's some energies. Wow, it's some current energies that are at play. They're not fully aligned with your intentions or your goals or whatever this may be. So follow your intuition about whom to trust and what to trust. All right, so if you can take time to retreat or step away out of your situation to access what is going on, be beneficial for you. All right, so let me see what that's about here. Who are these energies that are surrounding my collective that don't have their best interests? What's happening? What are these energies about? Who's shooting these darts, honey? Mm, 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 mm. Somebody is shooting darts, and that's what I felt like. I'm like, when I thought about it, it's like, it feels like there's some other stuff is at play right now. Some external factors here trying to bring some type of division between y'all by creating some type of, and, and what I keep hearing is like spell work. I hear that for somebody. I don't know what that's about. That may not be for all of you. Four of wands. Yep. And the nine of pentacles. They tried to tell me before, but I may have missed it. So I got to elaborate on this. Four of Wands in the reverse next to the Nine of Pentacles upright. So what I'm seeing is like, if you're feeling out of balance right now, okay, or if there's a breakdown in some type of communication here, or something is happening, you know how you just feel like it's a breakdown, something is, is disrupting you from getting to that point where you're feeling stable and you're building this foundation for yourself. And that Nine of Pentacles in reverse, when this Nine of Pentacles woman is upright, Shorty got it all. She can take care of herself. Her money's good. She's building. In the reverse, you don't feel self-sufficient. You don't feel confident. And that's what I feel like. It's like this person doesn't, your person here or you don't feel confident or self-sufficient right now um, in this situation, especially with what you're trying to build. Look, Five of Swords upright. So something is going on. You could have gotten or they could have gotten into some type of argument or had a falling out with somebody and some people walked away with a sense of bad blood, right? Okay, so let's see. Tell me more about this five of swords. Some people walked away with a sense of bad blood. Yep, three of pentacles. It could be somebody you work with. Okay, could be somebody they work with. Flip the rolls. Mm. It's a third party situation. It don't even have to be work, but I feel like it's a third party situation here that's happening. Okay. All right. So tell me about that. So what is this person doing? What is this person doing? Ooh, I can't get the card. What is this person doing? All right, y'all. Yes. Oh, okay. So again, like I said, it's either somebody you work with. Um, Y'all not clicking well with each other. Just know that. Okay. So y'all don't get along with each other. Um, whatsoever. I feel like it either could be even somebody else's um you connected to person. Maybe it's could be. It definitely could be. It's I'm I'm hearing energy like I'm hearing like it's so much energy coming towards me right now that I feel. Okay. So definitely cover yourself, protect yourself. It don't even matter who it is. So we're not even going to focus on um, the who. What you need to do now is just realize here that you are the fucking empress. Okay. That's it. Whatever the delays, whatever the obstacles that you may be feeling right now, you are the fucking empress. I, don't, I, I feel like I need to say it again because I feel like I need to come through with some impact. You are the fucking empress. All right. So that basically means you are highly protected and favored. Okay. Ain't nothing coming through. Just surround yourself with good energy people. Because I feel like whoever this person is, they're not, um, they don't have good energy whatsoever. They're either projecting, um, manipulating in some kind of way. I'm hearing the evil eye and shit. Somebody speaking shit. You know how people can just literally, when you speak your words, it spells period. It's like somebody is literally speaking negative shit about you wishing your downfall. Okay, so... Trust in the unknown. Trust in the universe here. You're good. So you just, you're going to get over this challenge. And that's what came out um, earlier. I put the cards back, but you will get over whatever the challenges is that you are facing at this moment. Okay. So 
Tell me what else I need to see. Let me tell y'all, sometimes it just irritates me. I don't like when motherfuckers be trying to play in people's energy. Why? Like, you don't got nothing else to do but to play in somebody's energy. Right? To try to create delays because you miserable. It's just like, look at that. Grim Reaper. <laughs> the Grim Reaper. That's all right. Whoever this person is, that, that situation is over. Okay? It ain't no turning back from that. Even with that five of swords energy coming out. That's like that bridge is burnt. It's like it ain't no turning back. It's a sense of bad blood between y'all. It's no second chances. That shit is over. Just grow and transform your life at this point. Okay. And just keep moving forward. All right. I'm here and that shit is dead. Wow. Thank you. Tell me about the Grim Reaper. Yep. Whoever it is you were connected to. You could have been doing some type of project with this person. You could have been working with this person. Um, and I, I feel heavily on somebody you may have been doing some type of project with. Y'all may have had some type of ending. Okay. For some of y'all, I'm hearing somebody got ghosted. I'm also hearing um, somebody spread rumors, maybe been gossiping about you. Okay, after the ending, I feel like you stayed in your Empress energy, y'all. I feel like you did not say anything. You did not react. You just kind of kept moving forward. This person is still doing shit because they still in their feelings. And I feel like you ain't even focusing on them right now. And that's also what's triggering them. Okay, they. I feel like they, they thought that you would chase them. All right, so... I don't know who that's for. Again, if it ain't you, it's for your person here. Whoever this person is, that's kind of like taking a step back, all right? Um, for I, I, the, and what I just heard was this isn't one of those things where they're going to take a step back and it's going to be like for a long time. It's just you know how you got to regroup for a second. Let me regroup, get my mind right. You understand? Know like I'm going through some shit. So it may be just kind of like... Just silent. It could be hours. It could be. It ain't gonna be nothing where you going weeks is what I'm hearing. Okay, um, with no communication. All right. Um, but just kind of like just keep keep uh your focus on things being good. Let's just put it that way. Don't focus on the loss. Don't focus on the lack thereof. Just constantly keep focus on what you're trying to manifest here and keep your eyes on that outcome. And that's it. Nothing else. Protect yourself. Trust in the divine. And I love you guys. I holla later. Peace.